Hey guys, it's Channel Heat here. How's everyone doing? Uh, today I've got a brand new Easter egg for you guys on the Mission Guardians on Halo 5. Uh, but before we get into that, I do have a couple people I want to uh, shout out and um, thank for this because um, I believe the person who found this was Novice 10. Um, I could be wrong about that. If I am, I'm sorry. Um, if you're if you're the actual founder, then feel free to uh, mention yourself in the comments. But anyways. Um, uh, this was like a couple months ago or so, but he posted a uh, video about uh, this unsolved easter egg on Halo 5. And there were like a few steps that he showed, but it was uh, incomplete. And just recently, uh, someone showed me that someone had solved it. I think it was him that solved it, but it was actually Halo Feed that brought it to my attention on Twitter. And uh, with that... Decided to uh, take a look at it because I've been asked about this before and we did try to tackle it ourselves, but we pretty much got as far as almost anybody else. <laughs> but now that it has been solved, it's actually a pretty cool Easter egg. Um, I stopped short of the word amazing, but we'll see. So, all you have to do is uh, I talked a little bit longer than I should have, but you just had to uh, hit the energy sword. With the energy sword, you have to hit that little data pad um, back up on that ledge there. Ask Spartan Lock. And then that'll spawn an elite here, and then you need to kill that elite pretty quickly. And you'll know it works because each time you, uh, each step you take, you'll hear that little uh, grunt birthday party sound uh, for hitting the data pad with the energy sword and then killing the elite. If you don't hear it, then it didn't work. And you just have to try again. And I forgot to mention, you also have to do this on uh, heroic difficulty. Uh, but that's it. You can also do it on Legendary, but I would not do it on Legendary. That would just be torture. But once you have the Easter Egg activated, just simply uh, make your way inside this uh, building here. And from this point on, just play the mission normally until you get to the uh, very end when you've done all the enemies. But do not go in the elevator when Exuberant tells you to. Instead, just wait for a little bit. And I'll suggest you stock up on explosive weapons and everything. But don't use them yet. Just keep them where they are. Keep them safe. Because you're going to need them. And some uh, turrets would be nice too. And if you if you can, you could bring vehicles in here too. Having some vehicles would definitely help as well. Especially like mantises or wraiths. Because um, this is a pretty hard easter egg at this part. But once you wait long enough after uh, finishing that regular part of the mission, a bunch of knights will spawn in. These are knights that spawn in when you go on the elevator and they start shooting at you, but you're, pre you're protected by the shield. Uh, but you can actually fight these knights instead of going on the elevator. Uh, but since we're on a higher difficulty, they're pretty challenging to fight, and there's a couple waves that you have to go through before you activate the actual easter egg. Now like I said, I highly recommend you save uh, as many explosive weapons as you can, because that'll help you out on this. But. Yeah, so let's get on with that now. And I also want to mention that um, as of... <laughs> this actually took us a while to do because when this was first brought to our attention that it's been solved, there was no tutorial about it. Nobody had posted a video or step-by-step step -step instructions. So we had to figure out a little bit of it as well. But <laughs> it took us a while and we kept dying and it was getting pretty frustrating. But anyways, we finally killed uh, both waves of knights and... It spawns in three giant knights. That might sound scary at first, but uh, those knights, those giant knights, are actually relatively harmless, so don't worry about them. It's actually what comes after them that's pretty annoying. But this is kind of similar to that other Easter egg on the first mission, uh, where you also get to fight giant knights with the Prophet's Bane. You get to like shoot all those like knives in the ground that sets them on fire. It's pretty similar to that, but. It's a little different this time, and you'll see why pretty soon. But for these giant knights, only kill two out of the three. Don't kill the third one just yet. Because if you if you kill all three, you'll be pretty overwhelmed pretty shortly. But let me just show you what happens now. So we've already killed the first one, and now we are working on the second one. And once you kill the second one, a bunch of these mini knights like miniature knights will spawn in and you know you may think like oh they're so tiny and they're so cute and harmless no 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 these mini knights are like <laughs> they are extremely deadly 
they're worse than the uh, regular sized knights and even the bigger knights. In fact, I find that the bigger they are, uh, the the easier they fall, <laughs> actually. Um, because, like I said, the big knights are pretty harmless. They they only stay in the middle and they don't attack you. And the regular knights, well, they're you know they're a bigger target. But these mini knights, they are really hard to shoot with precision weapons. And just a lot of them too, they swarm you. And on higher difficulties, they're very deadly, because they still hold their regular weapons. Their, their weapons are still regular size, and they do the same damage. And these mini knights have the exact same health as their regular counterparts. So that's why you want to try to save all your explosive weapons for this part. Because with the incineration cannon and the rocket launchers, shooting the mini knights, um, a lot of splash damage really helps gets them. Because precision weapons are pretty hard, unless you think you're that good at Halo that you can snipe a small moving target like that. <laughs> but yeah, so now you see why you need um, these uh, explosive weapons. Now once you clear up the mini knights, don't kill the big one just yet. Um, clear all the mini knights first. And then you can kill the big one, because once you kill the last big one, more mini knights spawn. And if you have too many mini knights, they, they can easily overwhelm you. And it's like pretty much impossible <laughs> to kill all of them. Uh, but yeah, so I believe we've killed all the mini knights here now, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna kill the big one. And as you can see, more just spawned in. And they all spawn in like grouped together, so if, if you if you catch them like at the right time, you can actually kill most of them like we just did there. Uh, and then after you kill the mini knights again, another giant knight will spawn. But don't worry, this is not like an infinite spawning like loop. That is the last giant knight you have to face. Uh, and we just killed it, and we have a couple more mini knights left to kill. Um, see, uh, originally when this was brought to me by Halo Feed, he um, he mentioned that he, like, he was unable to kill all the giant knights and mini knights. And it is really hard to kill them, and we had to get like four people, and this took us hours to do. But we finally managed to kill all of them to see what happens after we've killed all of them. So, yeah, uh, I believe this is it. We've killed all of them, and we're just searching around the room right now, making sure we didn't miss a single one. Uh, but, yeah, just be absolutely certain, because um, this Easter egg is very, very new. So, while we've gotten this far, it's possible there's still more, but as far as we can tell, there's nothing else. Um, you know, we've, we've researched other um, tips from other people. Um, you know, I, I looked at, I talked to Halofeed a bit on Twitter, and, uh, well, <laughs> shout out again to Halofeed, thanks for letting me know, but, um, as far as I know, all the information we've had, um, and like I said, there was no tutorial about this, so, you know, I'm pretty sure Noise 10 was the founder, like I said, and if he does make a video, um, who knows, there, there might have been more that we missed. But this is as far as we've gotten, as far as we found. And, um, yeah, we, we've searched the room, we're pretty sure there's nothing left. Nothing different. So, at this point, we can, uh, we can pretty much go in the elevator. Uh, because, I'm pretty sure I mentioned earlier, but... You shouldn't go on the elevator before, because if you do, then you teleport everybody and you mess up the whole easter egg. But, now that we're all done, we've got all the enemies, it's pretty much safe to go on the elevator. And, what is the result of finishing this easter egg? Well, as the magic conch shell would say, nothing. That's right. <laughs> I did say it was a pretty cool easter egg earlier, but I stopped short of amazing because, um... Oh, that's it. <laughs> nothing else happens. Uh, there's no alternate ending, doesn't change the cutscenes. Everything else past this part is just the same old uh, part of the mission. Uh, I mean, we haven't tried on Legendary, so maybe it's something different on Legendary, but honestly, this is this took so long, it was hard enough that we're not going to bother with that. But if anybody else wants to give it a try, um, you know, just follow our steps in this video and good luck. You're really going to need it. <laughs> but yeah, so I... Hope you guys found it to be interesting, and I apologize if I got the founder mixed up, but I'm pretty sure it's no Eyes 10 again. But anyways, if you guys did enjoy this uh, and found our own tutorial to be helpful, just uh, leave a like and you know leave your thoughts in the comments. If we missed anything or just anything more to this Easter egg, just let us know. Or if there's anything else you want us to check out, just you know post in the comments. But other than that, um, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys next time.